Hello and welcome to the Big Jim Show. If you haven't noticed, I'm not in the studio and we're using Skype. That's right, Skype. And I have some guests already that are going to be Skyping with me for some shows coming up in the future. And if you, the viewers, cannot make it to the TV station, maybe you can Skype with Big Jim. All you got to do is download Skype to either your laptop, computer, or cell phone. And I even have it on my cell phone, too, in case something bizarre happens and I need to uh, get on Skype. But anyways, uh, I'm hoping it comes in nice and clear. I'm hoping you can hear me well. This is a test to make sure that we are going to be using Skype. And I also found out from Matt Green that we can take Hollins now. He has some new hardware or whatever you want to call it, mechanism, um, where we can have live call-ins or I can call you or you call me. And if you don't have Skype, we can always interview you over the phone. So some big changes happening here at ACTV, your access to access. I just love to promote that. But anyways, I think today, since we're just trying to Skype, um, it's going to be from the vault. I got some some clips that I've uh, got on my YouTube channel, CC with Big Jim. And there's a few CC with Big Jims. I'm not the guy that sings, I don't know, he's he sings some song. He, he doesn't even look like me, except that he's big. But my profile picture, I have my New England Patriots hat on with red hair. And remember Henry, the pet monkey I had? No, it wasn't real. It was a, a toy. And he laughed when I squeezed his, uh, his foot. Sorry to say Henry has passed on. I think I threw him at the the camera and the walls. It, it, I put new batteries in and it just, I put Henry to rest, all right? He's, he had a nice funeral. I didn't just throw him in the trash. Henry is up there with all the other monkeys and animals. I'm, I think there's a different heaven for, for animals and humans. I'm not sure. And does it really matter? All I know is Henry was sent off peacefully and nicely. All right? Enough of Henry. He was stole the, stole the show from me way too many times. But anyways, again, this week's show is going to be from the vault. I got uh, a music video. The first music video that I made, and uh, it was the band... Uh, I think it was Slaughter Drive. They were the... Um, Power 105's Battle of the Bands winner, and uh, I used their song, Bad Hip, and uh, Jimmy's on it when uh, he was on the, the donkey that had never been rode, so uh, it was kind of cute, and a little ride through Gloucester. I also have, um, to me it was very interesting, a book on the ABCs. It was a children's book, and some of the words that they came out with for the description of the, the letter, like, I think A was asparagus. What child would really know what asparagus is? Because I'm sure they don't even want to eat it. I love asparagus, but just some weird words that they came out with. For the ABCs, and uh, so I got that on, and also I just love birds at the bird feeder. So I uh, put the camera out on my deck, and um, there's a woodpecker, some wrens, maybe a crow or two. I don't know, some chickadees. But I, I was watching ACT one night, and I'm not sure whose show it was, but. All they showed was feet getting onto an escalator. I'm assuming it was at the Baker Center. But I couldn't see much except for shoes, people walking on to an escalator. 
And to me, I think watching birds at a bird feeder for a while was much more entertaining, interesting. And instead of showing how many different shoes people wear, I showed how many different birds there were. So anyways, I hope you enjoy the show this week. Next week, I'll be in the studio. And um, I got a few pictures that I would like to share with you that I've seen on the net. And some stupid laws from different states here in the United States. So sit back, enjoy the show. And please, if you'd like to get on the Big Jim show, if you'd like to Skype like I am now, contact me. And the uh, contact information is in the credits. The email is ccwithbigjim at gmail.com. Or you can call the studio even. My cell number is there. Get in touch with me. I'd love to have you on the show. So here we go. From the vault. The Big Jim Show. Keep it real, folks. <sighs> yeah. Today I like to rant about people that write books for kids. For instance, now I eat my ABCs. Okay. About if I'm my neighbor next door. I think he's got a two year old, three year old, I don't know. Dylan is four years old. And uh, so I thought it'd be a treat for Grampy to, to read this book over to him on Skype. Because sometimes Glenn and him, well, when they do it, they'll Skype it to me where I can kind of like go along with them while, while Glenn reads to Dylan. And Dozer. Dozer's always there. So anyways, I was Skyping reading this book. And then I started noticing some of the some of the the things that they were saying to eat because you're eating your ABCs and I'll start off I'll start off with the first one A is for asparagus now do you need to be told obviously some of you do let's Asparagus? What about apple? Or uh, apple juice? Apple. Asparagus? You think, do you think, really think? Well, he may have. He's a smart kid. But asparagus is what you would explain your ABCs, how you're eating them. Do you think some kid's going to want to eat asparagus? I don't know about you, but I'd say the tally would be at least 99% don't really like asparagus. Doesn't matter if I do. I'm talking about the book. Asparagus. So I, uh, it caught me off guard. I, I don't know. I, I, I told Dylan, I showed him the pictures, you know. And, and the, the, so I mentioned to him, my, like, my opinion afterwards, or I would say, or apple, Dylan. He said, "Yeah, apple." He, he knew. The, the, all right, let's continue. Here's B is for blueberries. Now that's not bad. That's not bad. Blueberries. Little Dylan loves blueberries. He has them a lot for a snack or breakfast or whatever. He loves blueberries. So I'm not going to rain on that one. Let's continue on. C is for cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. I believe Dylan eats cantaloupe too. And I don't know though if, if I don't know if Aaron and Glenn say it's melon or if it's cantaloupe. I guess I'll have to find out. See, that's what's bad when, when you're thousands of miles away, you can only communicate through Skype and all. Yeah. Do you say cantaloupe or do you say melon? 
doesn't really matter. I'm just grampy and your dad, I'd just like to know. They're on my Facebook. Glenn's a huge fan of mine. He adores his dad. Said his dad is his hero. He also said that uh, he's got the chicken coop all set. He's got the chicks in. And allow me, he's got a dozen, whatever. Yeah, he's got the chicks in. He's got a chicken coop connected to his garage. Can we continue now? You need to be told all these extra things. No, you don't. So let's continue. Continue on. D is for donuts. Now donuts, that's that's a good idea. But I would have put like some powdered ones in. Even the munchkins, the round ones. You're, you're dealing with a child. They're probably thinking Dunkin' Donuts or whatever you get at the store. I don't really care where you get your donuts, but I would just do more than that, and especially a, like three of them in there with a bite. Oh, someone took a bite. Is that supposed to be funny to a kid? I guess. <laughs> I can't remember if Dylan laughed or not. Let's continue on. E is for eggs. Eggs. Quite appropriate. Not too sure about the hard-boiled look, though. How about a couple of hard-boiled, a couple of just in the shell, maybe a couple fried. You could even do an omelet. When I get creative, that's how the kids eat. The kid, how many kids do you need to be told? How many kids thrillish or relish on hard-boiled eggs? Could have made an egg salad sub or a sandwich. E. Eggs. Continuing on. F is for French fries. French fries. Not a bad one at all. You're not going to say Frankfurter. Are you? Do you? It'd be a hot dog. How many of you just go up to your kid and say, hey, you want a Frankfurter? A French fry was good. Although I probably would have used some shoestring style, like um, like from McDonald's or Burger King, whatever. I don't think the kid would really recognize those, the kind you put in the oven, unless you have it often. I, I bet you he has more McDonald's fries. He or she. This my mind's on Dylan. Now I'm a grandfather of, of geez, Reese, Reese, I love you, baby. I can hardly wait to hold you. Reese. Yeah. Anyways, fries. Not bad. Let's continue on. G is for grapes. Grapes. Now obviously you're seeing the shapes. They're using uh, they're using these these words, labels, names. G for grapes. And there was some green and red ones in the shape of a G. So, um, I see no problem with that. Could have had a vine with a mono, like how you pick them off. So that way, when you get them from the store, you rinse them off, obviously. You know, you should. But anyways... You don't need to be told. The please <laughs> put them in a bowl. Hey, the kid takes them up. You know, it's a pleasure to to pick your grape. In my eyes, mind you, I'm ranting on a book that is for children. It's not really meant for the grown-up that's reading it to the kid. Let's continue. H is for ham. Ham. Nasty H ram. <laughs> Rolled up like it's going into a finger sandwich thinger. Although Dylan does have, I've seen him have with his cheese sticks. Rolled up ham or roast, rolled up roast beef like that. So I really can't go against that, but I would have just come up with something else other than ham. 
about hamburger. But again, you're dealing with the shape of the letter. So I really can't rant on that one, although I, I'm just not a huge fan of, of the, using the letter H for ham. Usually it's round, baked, glazed, whatever. It's not usually rolled up in the shape of an H. I guess Grampy will have to do that next time he visits. And he goes and puts his arms around his lovely bundle of joy, Reese. Grampy loves you, Reese. All right, let's continue on. I is for ice. Ice. You know, that you could have said, since the letter I... Is, is is pictured up with ice cubes. Why don't you just say ice cubes instead of just ice? And there's more than one. There's more than one cube. So you could say ice cubes instead of... They don't even say cube. They just say ice. Are, are, you, are you following along? I hope so. So we will continue. J is for jelly. Jelly. <sighs> jelly. That was cool. The J goes along with it. You know, it was on a slice of toast. Jelly. But it looks to me like ketchup. So, why didn't they put, like, grape jelly on? Or, um, I don't know. Blueberry. Anything other than strawberry. Or whatever that is. I mean, that's just my point. Let's continue on. K is for ketchup. Ketchup. See what I mean? Now it's red. It's red already. It's ketchup and it's on a cheeseburger. Again, it's in the shape of, you know, that's cool. It's it's a K. It's not a J. For jelly. Should he use grape or pineapple? That's just anything other than K for ketchup, and I just proved my point. Continuing. L is for licorice. Licorice. I guess, I guess licorice is good. Most, most, but most kids deal with like black licorice as licorice. I would think. Or, or am I just not thinking? Again, again, we're talking about the child that I'm reading it to. Does that kid know what black licorice is more so than L? Does he eat more L than black? I guess I should kind of like look at the date when this thing was wrote. But as my, as a kid, when I was that, that young, I didn't even know if they had red licorice then. Black. I love black licorice. It does something to you. It gives you more something. I don't know. You can remember. You can let me know. Licorice. Put it black. If you ever republish this book, put it black. Maybe I need to write a book. We can do it as a video. Continuing on. M is for marshmallows. Marshmallows. Fantastic. Again! Using the letter M. So you can't go cute with this one. You know, like a picture of a, a, a campfire with, with kids around and with marshmallows on their sticks. That would have been nice. But you'd have to shape the kids or the marshmallows over the fire. It'd be too close. All of a sudden, kids would be 
at the kids see this, they'd be running, running to the campfire to try to roast their marshmallows, and we don't need them falling in and stuff. And be supervised when you do that kind of stuff. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you folks that. Losing my glasses. Let us let's get on to the next one. What comes after M? N is for noodles. Noodles. Why would you put that kind of a noodle there? I mean, I, yeah, it needs to look like an N, but don't you think you could have used anything extra? Maybe some shell noodles and macaroni and cheese or... Spaghetti, all kinds of different noodles. You could use the the shell ones for the corners when it goes down or up. Could be a little bit more creative than just regular stick noodle. In my eyes, to a kid, I don't know. I guess he'd look at that and say, "What kind of noodles are those?" That's what I would have said. Continuing on. O is for orange. Orange. Notice only a half. Not two. Definitely not a whole, but not two. Or it would have been oranges. So they cut an orange in half. Is that, I guess, apparent for the kid? I mean, when, when I do it, I take all the peeling off from my loved one. And then I break it into the, to the slices kind of like thing, you know what I mean? The, the wedge, the wedge, put it in a bowl or a plate. I would have had a picture of that and said, orange because that is one orange and that kid is smart enough to know that you get that many little slice cube do whatever things they know that that one orange gives all of those so you could still say orange and have it on a plate already dismantled for the kid continuing on P is for peas Peas. That's not a bad one, I guess. You don't want to go in any other direction, do you? <laughs> Continuing on. Q is for quesadilla. Quesadilla. When I first read this book, I don't remember what I said, but it wasn't quesadilla. Glenn on Skype says to me, hey, Grampy, it's quesadilla. I think I was saying quesadilla. Quesadilla, I think I was saying, I don't know. And Glenn says, it's quesadilla, Dad. Dude, I know Glenn knew. I, I just, you know, I, I can't pronounce all words. That's why I don't edit. You know, I just pronounced it. I was trying to say something and I mispronounced it then. Never mind quesadilla. But is that a good one? What else could you use for, for Q? I, I just don't. Anything? Q? Can't use cucumber because that starts with a C. Quesadilla. I think I would would have researched. You know, I'm just sitting here. This I, I don't write scripts. Uh, it's all spontaneous combustion coming at you here. So I, I, I'm trying to carry on, and not make this boring. But I can't come up with something for Q right now, unless you you don't mind if I just sit here and and think if I could come up with a better one than Q. Let's do that. Hmm. Hear the birds. It's lovely out here today. Q. 
It's got to be something you eat. Q. Quarter pounder. A hamburger from Burger King McDonald's yourself. Quarter pounder hamburger. Quesadilla. We're going to have to continue on. <laughs> R is for red pepper. Red pepper. Now it's R. So you don't need a P in there for pepper. Red pepper. What about red? Again, again, back to A. How about a red apple? Unless you're informed your child already that there's green and, and red peppers. Like when you make your... Sorry about that. Excuse me. I'm drinking iced tea. I don't know what's making me burp. So there the birds laughing at me. Anyways, red apple, please. Red pepper. Continuing on. S is for strawberries. Strawberries. Fantastic. It's in the S. Starts with a shape. It's something you eat. But you know what? Instead of putting them upside down, I think I would have laid them on this side. So you can see, well, not you can see the top, the green part. I don't know about you, but when I get strawberries from the store, there's always the stem and leaves. Am I right? They're always on them. So I. Why can't you let the kids see that? He'll, he'll, that's what mommy got from the store yesterday. That's either, either top view, side view, that view, com combination. I don't know. Anyways, we'll continue on. T is for tacos. Tacos. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. I like that one. I like that one. So we'll continue on right now. U is for you done noodles. Am I pronouncing that right? <laughs> you done, that's a capital U. In lowercase d o n, Udon noodles, and they got a smiley face. Give me a break! What kid knows about Udon noodles? What else could you use that you could eat with the letter U? I would come up with something, but I'm not going to right now, because I want to wrap this up. This next one's a classic, too. Continuing on, Udon noodles. <laughs> v is for vanilla beans. Vanilla beans. Beans! <laughs> Come on! What kid sees his parent cut up vanilla beans for anything? How about vanilla ice cream? You could have made the, like, a banana split. You know, and you shake it, kind of like curved it down. Will you see the letter B? Put it in some fancy dish. Well, you can actually make the banana strips go up at an angle. You guys cream in between on the, on the... Do you need to be told how to make a banana split look like a V? Obviously, this person did. Vanilla beans? <laughs> <clears throat> Continuing on. W 
is for watermelon. Watermelon. I'll go with that one. I, I will go with that one because it starts with a W and they put it in a shape. You could make all kinds. It doesn't have to be a W. You could, you could make a J. Like jelly on toast. Yeah. Think, think of the possibilities. We need to wrap this up. Continuing on. Oh, yeah. Continuing on. X is for extra cheese. Extra cheese. Add four slices of pizza. You can't get the whole pizza like together. Because you have to make it look like the letter. So they put four slices of pizza. The shape of an X. And say extra cheese. <sighs> extra cheese starts with an E. At least that's what I remember. So, I don't know. I guess I would have to come up with something else. How about two pretzel sticks? I don't know. You could make them, yeah, two pretzel sticks. But that would make an X. We're talking about the letter X. Do you remember? Are you carrying on with this? Because we're almost through. Anyways, extra cheese to me. That starts with an E. So um, I'm going to have to beg to differ on that one. Uh, is that the right thing to say? Continuing on. Why? is for yogurt. Yogurt. Why is for yogurt? Could you have maybe, I don't know, since they thought they were so cute with all the peas and all the strawberries, you could have made a Y out of like yogurt cups that you get at the store or, I don't know, a, a Y of yogurt on top of Granola? What the heck is that? Uh, maybe Dylan, maybe you kids are eating more healthier stuff than Grampy knows about. Not to investigate, but I, I don't know about that. You know what I mean? Uh, continuing, continuing to end. And lastly, and Z is for zucchini. Zucchini. I don't know, man. I just, that, that one, I guess it, it had to make a Z. Zucchini. I don't know. I guess that's okay. But there you have it. I'll give you one more quick look in all the pictures that I, I showed to Dylan when I read to him on Skype. Here they are. Rants! Hope you're enjoying the show. Because we're getting back to it right now. Rants! With Big Jim right here on Community Corner. With Big Jim at ACTV. Your access to access. I gotta throw a plug in for Matt Green. Athens could be television. <sighs> Enough of the kindness. Rats with Big Jim. Keep it real.
course I do. What do you got in your hand? Matcha. What's his name? Uh, Kelly. Kelly? Yeah. Kelly. Ah. Kelly. Mm. Well, yes, chocolate eat before we go? Hang on a minute, I'll get it. Turn around, sit down right. We got our we got our sweatshirt on now. Right? Oh. Well, well. Zoom all the way in there. There we go. Now this is gonna be hard. Rampy's yeah. gonna try to hold this camera. It's a phone. And, and and drive at the same time. Okay, ready? Gotta turn it on. You know the words. Sing along. Come on! Catch me! We want to go! Where will it send me? Send me! It's going to send us around the block. Yeah. Uh, the trucks parked on the street. It's sent me for rocks on the road. Uh, plenty of rocks. It's windy out too, isn't it? A little? Yeah. yeah. You're cold a bit. Cold. Hey, here, dog. Me too. Hey, doggy. What's the name? I, I, I think it's Annoy. What? His, his name is Annoy. You're an annoying bark. Yeah. Then Grandpa's going to lose his hat. They're going to push it down. There we go. I don't want to lose my hat. Unlucky Dallas Cowboy hat. Go Cowboys! Go, go, go Cowboys! And who else do we go? Patriots! Patriots! Wee -hee. I see. Looks like uh, people have to mow their yard, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Like mines. Daddy. Daddy's got to mow his yard. And mine's too. And yours too? I love going around the block. Me too. On the hub around. Where's my checkers? With what? My checkers. Yeah? Yeah. You got polka dots on your on your sweatshirt. Yep. Yeah. Not in my pocket. Not in my pocket. Oh, okay. I in your pocket? Miss it? Yeah. Sure is windy. Yeah. There's no kids out playing. They're all inside. Playing Minecraft. Like Dylan. Running from us. Yeah. Yeah. And me and you. Right around the block. Come on! Catch me! We wanna go. Take That's right. Me. We have more rocks. We gotta, we gotta detour the rocks here. Okay. Something's throwing rocks in the road. Bad. Bad it's guys. Bad guys. Let's go over here and smell the flowers. That's not, that's not flowers. Yeah, the lilacs. Yeah, lilacs. Oh. Don't that smell beautiful? Mm. I lilacs. I love that smell. Car. I want to 
coming behind us, they're coming in front of us. Don't they know we're going on a ride around the block? Are we going home? Are we going home? Yeah. Yeah, remind them all. Nobody, nobody, nobody. 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 <laughs> Come around. Come around. Takes me. Takes me. Where I want to go. go. Where Take will it send me? Send me. No playing outside. Nobody's playing outside. They usually do, don't they? No. They're playing with their balls. Where they got basketballs. They got footballs. They got baseballs. Soccer balls. They got all Soccer. kinds of balls over there. And uh, in that bar, what's the yellow? No more yellow flowers. They're all gone. No more dandelion white lions. No more dandelion. Uh, there's, there's some. Oh, there's, there's some. There's Not some. too many, though. Not too many, though. Uh, Oh. Someone cut that tree down. That one fell. Ooh, this one up here, what did they do to this one? There. What did they do to that one? Right there. They cut it down, didn't they? Yep. The and firewood. A burn it. And burn it. We going back home? Yep. Back up this hill and down. In that one? Oh. And that's our house? No, that's our house. That's where the squirrelies are. The squirrels, where are they? Are they hiding? You're hiding from us, Mr. Oh, there he is! Him and his, him and his, his brother, Frank. Hi guys! Hi guys! I'll give them the old toot. That one's on that log and one's on the tree. We caught you! Oh, he's running over to his brother. Oh, Fred. Oh. What was that? Me. Did you sneeze? Huh? There's gotta be a better way. Maybe instead of using the cell phone, let's, let's I should use my more. real camera. Let's let's let's, let's let's get the heck out of here. The squirrels are hiding from us again. See you later, Mr. Squirrels. Bye bye. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. We see you tomorrow. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow. We take a ride around the block. Bye bye. Bye bye. See that moonwalk. Now, now there's usually some birds that fly across the road, isn't there? Yeah, in the wall. Yeah, they must be home. Yeah. In the birdhouse. In the birdhouse? In the nest? No. In the birdhouse? Yeah. Uh, somebody bird. made it for them? That's nice. Hey, here we are. This is where we go fast down the hill. And have a round! Have a round! Takes me! We want to go. Where we want to go? Say, me. Oh, it's a car. That's mommy. Oh. That's mommy. I don't know who it is. Carol. Carol's coming. They're just turning up. around. Zoom. Oops. Right, are we ready? They're out of the way. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Have a row! Have a row! Takes me! Takes me! Where I want to go? Where you want to go? Okay. Me. It's Memorial Day weekend coming up, Reese. What? Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. yeah I, th I think we're going to a kick out at Nana's. Me and and Chloe? Mm. Uh, and Dylan? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and... 
Mommy? And Daddy? No, not Dad. Yeah. No. How about Dozer? Yeah! Dad, you stay home, we're Reggae Dozer. We're back. We're back to... We're back. What a nice joy ride around the block. We like doing that. When we get up to the top, we'll take another sip of our chocolate. Eat. Yeah. Watch out! Watch out! Look out, those are hover around coming through. Those are stop. Freak. I get down. Hang on. <laughs> I get down there. All right, now you can say, keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah. 